Hey guys, at Walmart trying to compare prices on healthier eating. Okay, so here you have the the whole wheat buns for three twenty eight, and let's just slide down a little bit to the white buns for a dollar. And then if you want to even get into a little higher, you want to get into the keto, you're looking at six twenty four. The hot dog buns. Five ninety-eight. Those are what two sixteen, but opposed to the ninety-three cent hot dog buns here. So that's just a little bit of what's healthier. Here you got the whole grains bread for five ninety-eight. And then let's come down here, and then you can find the the wheat bread for a dollar, as well as the white bread for a dollar. And then you want to come down to nature's own three twenty-four. So just a difference in comparison and pricing. See what I opt for a, a tortilla. I go for the whole wheat tortillas, which those are. That's the price on those. Even this cheap brand is three twenty-eight for these cheap flour tortillas. Wow. Now I'm on the ice cream aisle. Thank you for shopping with me today at Walmart. <laughs> but so I'm on the ice cream aisle. Let me see if they have the ice cream that I always buy for myself. It's a zero sugar. Oh, yep, Rebel. This is the one that I get. And it's like $4.97 each. And it comes in snickerdoodle. It comes in triple chocolate. It comes in butter pecan, mint chip, salted caramel, and natural vanilla. Oh, also down here. All the different flavors. And this ice cream is so good. So if, you, if you're looking for a healthier sugar, no sugar added ice cream, then this is the option you want to go and they taste delicious. So Rebel. So today I'm going to go with the better pecan and the comparison in prices. So when you go up to Great Value brand, it's $2.94. And then you got some down here for $1.47. And then you got the all the Mr. Debbie ones for two fifty. But so, but of course they're loaded with sugar. So I just wanted to show you the comparison in the price. Okay, so when it comes to this aisle, I always eat the brown rice. I'll get the boil in the bag. Brown rice is at two thirty two, and then our you have the smaller box of instant rice for one fifty six. So then we're on the sugar aisle. Okay, so it doesn't show the price, but the Great value um, sugar is priced at two fifty seven. For me, the type of sugar that I to use is this one. I go with the Swerve or the powdered sugar or the brown sugar. So seven fifty eight a bag. And then sometimes I use the monk fruit sweetener, which is seven thirty four. And then of course there's all the different ones. But and then you have the Splenda. And it's trivia, all those. But just to show you the difference in pricing, if you go with the regular, even the brown sugar here is a dollar seventy for the this brand of brown sugar. The powder sugar is the same one seventy, and then the and then this is a bigger bag. Well, this is a bigger bag of brown sugar for five. But just look at the price difference in the the sugar replacements. If I have a phosphorus deficiency then I have to go for the sugar-free um, dark sodas. So then I would go for the zero sugar um, Dr. Pepper. Diet is okay too, but it's just not my favorite taste. But I definitely go for sugar-free because of my phosphorus deficiency. So then I would go with the zero sugar Coca-Cola as well. Anything the dark, any dark cola that's sugar-free is what I would, is what I would drink. But I will say that I am liking when you go into stores now, there's a lot more zero sugar options than ever before. Like a lot of things you can find them. So if you really like, you can find it with no sugar in it for the diabetics and the people like myself that are pre-diabetic and my son and other people that I know, my mom. So the fact that we are, it's a good option to be able to get the zero. My son's buying the zero sugar <laughs> root beer. So yeah, if you have to have a soda or want a soda, I would opt for the sugar-free. It's a better option.
if I'm in a store, I'm going to look at this aisle and I'm going to ro ro rotate myself over to the nuts, all the different peanuts, almonds. This is the aisle that I would, I would choose. It's a lot better choice for you than this aisle. <laughs> the healthier aisle is this side over here. So if you're trying to watch your weight or trying to lose weight, just trying to eat a little healthier, I will switch sides. Even with the, um, they even have this now, the zero sugar jerky, but look at the price on it. It's zero sugar, they have it in teriyaki. But look at, there's always gonna be a little, typically there's a price difference. Well, so these aren't, these are pretty much the same, but when you go to the regular ones, it's the price of the regular ones. And then the zero sugar jerky. So, you know, they're starting to give us a lot more zero sugar options. And I've had the zero sugar sweet tea. Actually, this is what I'll probably get today. This one is so good. And, of course, you can get the regular. But let's see if you compare the the regular with zero calories to 120 calories. Hey, does it taste good? And this one has 63% of sugar, where this one has 0% sugar. Yeah, it's really good. So this is the one I'm gonna get today, the zero sugar um, tea. So another sweetener that I use, since I don't really use sugar, then I used to go with like something like the raw honey, like the uh, Great Value Raw Honey or the organic um, raw honey. But look at the price when you go to the, the Great Value Honey, and then you move it up a little bit. It's just the prices in stores are just getting outrageous. Like, seriously. So, I'm going to just go with what I would normally go with today. I'm going to go with the organic raw honey uh, great value. Oh, and then another way, you know, if, you, if you're trying to cut back on sugar and you want something other than water, which water is, also, is a great, 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 great thing to drink. We should drink plenty, plenty of that. But what I do, and because I drink baking soda from my acidity in my blood and all that with my condition that I have little zero sugar um, little packets and these things taste great and you can just add them to a bottle of water they even have skittles they have all the um, sonic but these have no sugar in them so if you just want to have something other than water then you can offer these little um, these little packages and they're pretty inexpensive I mean they used to be much cheaper you can get about a dollar eight for the smaller boxes And there's no sugar zero sugar added so this is a good option for you guys and then I like this because it has a watermelon and a pineapple I like all the different flavors but I go through these because I use them every day when I drink my um my baking soda but just to give you guys an option of something else you could do when you just want something other than water and for your kiddos it's a good option then of course I drink Gatorade so our Powerade I always go for the zero sugar option they taste good. Yeah, zero sugar, and they, and there's no difference. You really don't taste a difference. See if you drink it and, it's, and it tastes different, but to me they taste the same. That's just my opinion, though. Everybody might not feel the same way, but yeah. The same to me. You think they taste the same too? No difference. That's my grandson's opinion. So yeah, I would go with the zero sugar options. That's just what I choose. But look at the price: a dollar thirty-four for one Gatorade. Ooh, it's getting crazy out here, y'all. Getting real crazy. <laughs> But yeah, that's what I would do. Another option that I used to drink a lot of are the the flavor waters. I was drinking these when I first started to lose weight. And um, and then also the ice drinks. I still drink these. These are my absolute favorite. I drink all the different ice. Another good option because they're zero sugar. And they'll give you that little fizz that you need when you want like a, you know, like a little, when you're not drinking soda. You just want that little sparkle or whatever. So these are another option that I like to go for. I like all the different ice. One ice is a dollar eight now, where they used to be a dollar a piece. Or you have to go with a cheaper brand, a Walmart brand, uh, for fifty eight cents. And to me, honestly, guys, they taste the exact same as the ice drinks. You're just paying a different price, and they don't have as many flavors. But as far as the taste, it's pretty much the same. So that's another option you guys can do if you just want to have something that's zero sugar, but give you you know something different to drink other than water. What I do is I go with the Pillsbury sugar-free cakes and brownies i put like a, a, a box of the sugar-free um jello pudding 
and it tastes amazing. You guys want to know exactly how I do it? I'll do a video and I'll show you guys. Just let me know in the comment section. But that's the option that I go for when I want something sweet. Or I've tried the keto snacks here. This one is actually really good. The chocolate chip cookie. I think I did one of these in a video before. This one I didn't care for. The chocolate, this one I didn't like. Never had the birthday cake or this one. But just to give you a healthier, when you want to have a sweet tooth or craving something sweet, then you have the keto options as well. So there's a lot of options for people that don't eat sugar like myself. So I, I do like the fact that you can buy the zero sugar options instead of having to get the ones that have all the sugar and stuff in them. So it helps the people like myself to cut back on sugar. So yeah, that's the option that I go with. And also, I drink this every day. Bragg's apple cider vinegar, but look at how much it costs now. $6.34. This stuff, you, now you can get the smaller one, but look at the price on the smaller one. About my phone's not showing. $4.27 for the smaller one. So everything is getting really <laughs> high out here. And you can't do this option. You have to get the one with the uh, mother in it. You can't do the cheaper option if you're trying to get the benefits of apple cider vinegar. Now you could go with the the organic great value brand which is pretty much the same thing but apple cider vinegar is a good option for it has a lot of different health benefits for weight loss and oh man when you have a sore throat i mean it's just a lot of different things i'll put some information in the video explaining what exactly apple cider vinegar does but there's a lot of uh, important benefits to taking about a tablespoon every day Honestly, I stay away from this type of th things that I don't really eat the processed noodles and all of this stuff. They did have a, for those who still like the mac and cheese, they did have a cauliflower version of the mac and cheese. I don't know if they still have it, but I need some Parmesan cheese. So I'll grab that. I'm going to go up to Kraft Parmesan cheese. You can sprinkle this stuff on so much stuff, and it's, like, super amazing. You can make, like, some zucchini, like a zucchini bake, and use Parmesan cheese in it. There's a lot of different things you can do. It's actually what I'm going to do with the Parmesan cheese that I'm buying today. Okay, so with the ketchup, I do have the, I'm sorry, you have the sugar-free, <laughs> you're good, the sugar-free um, option for three thirty-seven. dollars um, organic unsweetened, four forty-seven. dollars Then you have the different sauces up here sugar-free it costs a lot more to eat sugar-free um so i would have to spend that money on those but then you know when you go down to the cheaper brands you can go with the ketchup for a dollar uh 72 dollar 28 um yeah get to heinz it's a little bit pricier but what a burger oh i didn't even know they had that what a burger ketchup what a burger sauce what a burger all this stuff <laughs> but tip but i'm just speaking of me getting the sugar-free options But you see the price difference in the from the sugar-free version to the regular version. It's a huge difference. When I come here, I will, they have the sugar-free um, line of salad dressings, three twenty-eight. But then when you go to the sorry, the cheaper brands, you can get for two ninety-eight, two fifty-two, two fifty-two, three fifty something. Oh, one ninety-seven, one forty-eight. So then for the barbecue sauce, I usually go with, sorry, I'm trying not to be in people's way. Sweet Baby Ray's makes a sugar-free um, barbecue sauce. It's, they have the uh, hickory brand, the honey mustard, and the original for $2.98. So it's pretty much the same price. The barbecue sauce, there's no price difference. So that's a good thing. But then you have these sugar-free sauces up here for three, four, three, uh, 66, 348, like that. So and then you have more up here, sugar-free, whole sugar-free line. And I like it for people like myself because I don't eat sugar anymore. So it's good to know that you can find here some more sugar-free barbecue sauces. Look at the price. There's definitely going to be a price difference, especially, and that's what the hardest part I think for me is, is adjusting to the price difference, knowing that, um, I can buy a barbecue sauce for a dollar ninety-eight or a dollar ninety-seven, opposed to three uh, eighty-eight. So it's definitely like, ugh. But you know, it's just the cost of trying to eat zero sugar, right? All right. 
So guys, thank you for shopping with me. I was just showing you a few things in the store today. Um, some options of uh, sugar-free options and, you know, just comparing prices with sugar-free and not sugar-free and stuff like that. But thank you guys for tuning in with T-Town with Tina. Hope you have a blessed day. And I'll see you in my next video. Love you guys. Say bye, grandson. Bye. <laughs> see y'all.